how good can a music concert be if the performers aren't actually there? This is the ABBA Voyage Arena Concert here in London, and this is your complete guide. Forty years after they last appeared on stage, ABBA have got back together to produce this virtual concert in a purpose-built arena on the east side of London. But what's it actually like? Well, when you arrive outside of the DLR station, ABBA Arena is literally situated in front of you. Doors are open about two hours prior to showtime, and if you've bought one of the cheaper dance floor tickets, you'll need to get here nice and early to get the best spots. After a quick security search, you'll be let into the concourse. As you can see, it's pretty colourful. It's here that you can pick up food, pick up drink, get drunk on alcohol if you want to. The prices are a little bit pricey. There's a cloak room, a shop where you can buy ABBA brand merchandise, and if you've bought one of the lounge packages, you get your own private lounge. But they don't let you into the arena straight away, so if you have bought a dance floor ticket, you'll probably be stuck in this queue. When they do let you in, it gives you a nice time to be able to find your spot if you're on the dance floor and it fills up pretty fast. If you've bought one of the seats, that's not such an issue, but if there's a group of you, I recommend buying tickets to one of the dance booths, where you get your own seated area, your own bartender, and your own dance floor so that you can dance away without bumping into anyone. Wherever you're sitting or standing, it's actually quite a nice view all the way around. I should point out that photography and videography is strictly forbidden when the show actually starts. And if you are caught photographing or videoing, they eject you immediately. So I'm using stock footage to show you exactly what it's like. And if you're wondering if it actually does look like this, yes, it really does. You honestly believe that they are there on the stage, and it's only when you see the close-ups on the big screen that you realize that it's CGI. You honestly don't mind that because of the lights, the music, the atmosphere, everyone's having a fantastic time, and if you are an ABBA fan, this definitely comes highly recommended. Definitely do this once in your life. Okay Nin, I'm sold, what do I need to do? Well, you need to come here to the ABBA Voyage concert, located in East London. To buy tickets, go on the website, www.abbavoyage.com. As you can tell from this screen, it sells out pretty quickly so you'll need to book this way ahead of time. If you find the date that you want, basically click on it and click on a section where you want to sit. The cheapest tickets are on the dance floor and they're roughly £77. The seats are obviously a little more expensive, ranging from about 100 to 150 And tickets to your own private dance booth, they're about 160 I ended up in one of the dance booths, mainly because it was the only ticket I could get, but I had a very lovely time with four Scottish housewives. The easiest way to get here is to use Pudding Mill Lane Station on the DLR, and this will drop you right outside ABBA Arena. Bear in mind that after the concert, it can be quite painful to get a ride home. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes, the duration of the concert is approximately 90 minutes, with no intermission. As mentioned before, Photography and videography is strictly prohibited when the concert is actually on, and if you are caught taking photos and videos, you are ejected immediately, and they're pretty hot about that. And finally, yes, I know it's expensive, but trust me, spend the money. It is definitely worth every single penny, and I would totally do it all over again. If you have found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on that comment section below, and if you've got any other ideas, you know what to do. If I get enough suggestions, I'll go ahead and do that. But guys, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.